Hey guys, this is Wolf Atlas here, bringing you another episode of War Divisions. This is day two of the class matches. Uh, not much change gear-wise. I was able to add some uh, pink stones to Lucia's uh, trust, uh, trust Master on the left side, because I didn't really have any pink stones um, there. I wasn't really able to power up the abilities though, but uh, at least there are some pink stones there. Everyone else uh, pretty much stood the same. And I did change the uh, formation. So because Kane likes to be a loner, I put him by, by himself all the way at the end. <laughs> and I left uh, Lucia and Titus close to each other. Because Lucia has a lot of... Uh, has decent amount of AoE resistance in her kit. Uh, so with that... Uh, idea she's able to be next to the tank with a uh, little to no problems pretty much and then Kane he could just be by himself and uh, as long as he gets bells and courage up then it should be alright alright so we have an earth team going um, if Ty Titus can get up there uh, taking hits from Oberon should be fine, but because their team is spread out, I wonder if um, Titus is going to be able to draw some hate. Uh, Zazan moves in quickly, so he might actually draw some um, draw uh, Kane attention. Uh, here we're going to have like a, I guess a spear battle because Kane is within uh, range of Oberon. So let's see how much this damage this does. Did decent damage. Uh, Kane's not gonna he's gonna go offensively now because Oberon's in range But I think he's yeah, he's gonna go after Zazan because Zazan did the uh, taunting blade uh, so that's gonna uh, um, Gain some arrow. I don't know he's gonna hit. Oh, he does hit. All right, so we got Zazan down All right, so now Titus turn. He didn't do anything uh, Which <laughs> Can't be a problem I didn't turn on his uh, courage uh, like I wanted to. Um, he took this magic attack pretty well in surprise. All right, so now Kane's gonna go after Oberon with his limit break. I love this limit break because he's jumping to the two moons. I like how all the Final Fantasy IV uh, limit, uh, limit breaks references the two moons, which is great. All right, so we got um, Mastery down, but she does have re-raise, so she might act this turn. Um, or Titus is gonna get a turn. Okay, Titus gets a turn, but he's not in range for an attack, sadly. Uh, so Mashri is gonna be able to attack. She might do an AoE attack here, which um, uh, Lucia should be able to take it. Yeah, she does. Titus, even with Sentinel, dies. Uh, it's to be expected. Hopefully, uh, Oberon goes down here. Oberon's dead. All right, so we're good on that. Lucia should be able to take down. Uh, Mashery here, just fine, and boom, there you go. Took down three cost 100 units. <laughs> uh, that's why I noticed. Like, did um, this this class match? As someone point, uh, one, one of my commenters pointed out, there are gonna be a lot of cost 100 unit teams because there is no restrictions, uh, no cost limits in this class match, which I'm fine with. Um, and that's that's not gonna be a problem with me. I'm still gonna use these uh, MR units. And Titus did his role, which was to take hits. And because Lucia was close to him, she took AOE hits pretty well. So so far that went okay. Um, but yeah, that was I'm thinking about it, that was triple 100 unit. <laughs> um, and I didn't even realize it. I'm on a winning streak, but. <laughs> now that I notice I'm on a winning streak, that's probably going to end here. Because this is probably going to win team. Oh, no, it's not. Jume, Cloud, and uh, Yuna. Oh, boy, Cloud. Oh, boy. Oh, no. <laughs> They're starting at the same spot as um, Kane is. Uh, so this is going to be interesting. Uh, Cloud's try to sharpshoot, I think. Uh, but it looks like he might miss this uh, attack. All right, so we're gonna get a spell fortify, so we can get more air resistance here. Um, Jume is gonna have re-raise, so that's gonna be kind of a problem. 
All right, at least we have our hate up. I don't know how fast Titus is going to be able to get there. So we, we dodged the supercharge and Kane was able to take out Cloud. Thank goodness. <laughs> yeah, I still hate Cloud, no matter what. All right, so we at least get a Pearson Lance onto uh, Jume, but because we didn't activate belts, we're kind of um, screwed on AP for now. And oh no, Cloud is back up, which kind of sucks. Um, all right, so we um, Lucia is gonna be doing her thing. Uh, I yeah, Cloud's gonna go after Kane, and Kane's gonna go down. Oh my god, why did Full Life had to activate? <laughs> I was hoping to get um, Cloud down. Alright, so we got a Sentinel up. Uh, so now it's going to be up to Lucia to take care of the rest. If she could just take down Cloud, that's all I ask. We have a shot at this. Because Cloud looks to be the main DPS of their team. But Yuna herself can be a problem. <laughs> uh, even though Sylvie's now um, in the game, Yuna is still a thing. All right, so Lucia just moves in closely, so she I guess she could get a better uh, turn. Um, Cloud's out of AP, so that was that was at least lucky. We got a Saint and Cross here, but um, Titus is not gonna do that much damage, honestly. <laughs> All right, so what Jumei's gonna do? Jumei's gonna do um, Store Win. Uh, not much damage, which is good. So Lucia might get a turn. All right, go after. Oh, this is actually pretty good. Oh, we knocked them both down. Um, but we, um, Drew May gets re-raised, but we get our CT up, which is, which is great because, like I said, uh, Lucia's kind of slow. Uh, I thought, oh, I didn't realize, uh, Yuna was casting to heal. She actually, uh, yeah, to heal. I thought she was on attack. But okay, we got another AoE move here. And did Yuna survive? No, okay. <laughs> that was just a uh, delayed reaction. I thought she survived. All right, we're doing good so far. Two, two, uh, two, two, oh, sorry, two, two, oh. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm still afraid of clouds, even though, like, at this point, uh, cloud really shouldn't be too much of a problem, honestly. Five win, five winning streak, pretty nice. I hope we could just keep this up. All right, so the idea of putting Kane by himself is pretty much working well. I mean, he doesn't really have any much uh, uh, group buffs, so it's just best to just put him by himself. Let Lucia and the tank uh, be together, so that way they could um, she could get her AOE AOE resistance uh, buffs and survive better, pretty much. Uh, okay, so now we have a tank grid, so it's probably gonna be a lighting. And like I said, when it, when it comes to the, uh, I think I said this in the last video, or maybe I said it to someone uh, from my guild. But when it comes to like the maps with the uh, with light buffs, usually they're not cost resistant, uh, restricted because they want. It's great for the new players because light is new player friendly. Out of all the elements, light is the new player friendly one because a lot of free units are usually light. Uh, so by making the class matches cost cost restriction free, uh, it allows newer players who started the game uh, a few months ago that have their light rosters going, they could um, utilize their their teams more fit efficiently. They probably don't have uh, lower uh, cost units uh, built up right now because they're focusing on the UR units. Uh, so. That's why I'm expecting to see a lot of just light units around because we in over the course of the few month a uh, few months we've had trickled uh, new players. Uh, this Addison raid uh, campaign that they're gonna be doing for a couple months should be bringing more new players in. So we have to see about that, and they might they might host another class match uh, related to light in the future. I'm not saying Addison Ray will be light. We don't know her her element, but if she is light, then it just goes along with the um, light being more friendly to newer players and free-to-play players, stuff like that. All right, so that almost killed uh, Kane, but luckily he should not be in range of the other two, but let's see. 
because I'm not too sure. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, because I know Locke can move a lot. Uh, and now, now Danker is going to be able to. But now this is, uh, um, Titus is in range. Everyone should be going after Titus. And again, because of this map, giving agility up. Oh, crap. Oh, okay. We got courage at least. <laughs> I, I, I figured Elena would go after Titus, but I guess she's just still not in range. Um, so we got Locke going after Titus. Here... Uh, what's Cain gonna do though? I guess she, he's gonna try to kill off uh, Elena. Uh, some Elena's I can hit, some I don't because uh, even with the glasses, she just dodges a lot. All right, so Titus did his thing. He he took attacks, and now it's gonna be up to Lucia to just finish everything, everyone off. <laughs> All right, so Dankrit got killed as a toad. Uh, so let's see. All right, we killed off Elena. Uh, so now it's just Locke left. Uh, Locke's probably going to go after Lucia. Uh, but Lucia is really good against physical attackers. So we should be okay. Uh, unfortunately. Uh, actually, no, not unfortunately. If we land another Toll's Curse here, we, we'll win. Or happy ending. Unhappy ending. That works too. Oh, no, wait. He has re -raise. Crap. I uh, <laughs> wish she had a way to move re -raise. Or Maybe she does. I don't know. I have to look her, at her kit again. I thought she did. Or maybe it's, um, maybe it's courage. I don't know. I forget. Uh, Locke moves fast, so he's gonna get another turn. Uh, it's up to Kane. So let's see. Will reflex act ha activate or not? Nope. We got the hit. All right. <laughs> All right. We got the win. That one. That one was a close one. That one was definitely a close one. All right, I think if we win one more, we'll be in promotion matches. Uh, and then uh, what's have to go? And I think is it diamond that's have to go? I'm not sure. <laughs> Definitely moving on up. All right, so let's see. We're doing <laughs> we're doing pretty well today. Uh, that was like three matches won today in a row. We're doing pretty well with this team. Uh, Lucia is very, it's a very good unit, honestly. I'm glad I got her, <laughs> and I, I'm, I'm, I'm just love, I love using her. Um, I just wish I had, like, Joker and Leela and, and Dark Fina up and running. But using Kane, still good. <laughs> uh, not a lot of people, uh, really prepare for Pierce attacks, so it's been working out great. All right, so now we got a water team going. Uh, Miranda, Celis, and uh, Summer Elsie. All right, Kane is going to be moving on his own. He's gonna. He has courage. He has. Uh, well, he might be able to do courage. Um, actually, maybe not because Celis moves quickly. Why well, don't say quickly? She moves up um, pretty um, pretty well. And evidence of this is because I just did Sentinel instead of the. Uh, barrier buff, which might be a problem, because now people are not gonna go after him. Uh, well, Celis did. Celis is like, yeah, I'm gonna go after you. All right, so let's see how much damage Kane's gonna do to Celis, because Celis, Celis is the issue. Um, we can't hurt her with Lucia. Well, Lucia can do her limber break, um, which this might actually chain. Yeah, okay. So Celis is down. Oof. <laughs> Alright, so we get another sentinel off, so we just have to get rid of Elsie and Miranda. Uh, honestly, I don't know... Who, well, <laughs> that answers my question. I was say, I don't know what uh, Miranda's gonna do, but uh, that actually helped me figure it out. She's gonna hurt me. Because <laughs> um, not a lot of people use Miranda, but um, I'm glad to see one around because... Yeah, she's gonna hurt. Uh, I probably lost this one. Uh, cause now I'm confused and Lucia does not take magic hits too well. Oh well, I had to get a loss. I jinxed myself. That was my fault for jinxing myself. Uh, but man, six wins in a row altogether. That's pretty good. We should get like a a pity. <laughs> no, nah, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Like get get five wins in a row. Get one gun one one win for free. Why not? 
if we get five losses in a row and we get a, a win for free, why can't it be the other way around? Um, all right, final match of the night. I hope everyone's having a, a good Thanksgiving. If you're if you celebrate it, if you celebrate it, I had a good time with at my parents' house. I'm very stuffed. I'm about to hit bed soon because the itis uh, is kicking in. <laughs> uh, oh, we got a lightning team. Lightning. Well, okay. Lightning element team featuring lightning, Ibarra, and Charlotte. <laughs> that that's better. Um. Oh, I should really try to do the formation so that uh, Lucia can buff everyone up. But the thing is, Lucia is slow compared to Kane, so that it's just never gonna happen. Um, leaving Kane by himself just works out way better, and for her to buff up um, Titus is just a better option, honestly. Um, can't say too much about this team because I don't run into lightning too much <laughs> nowadays. Uh, I know Charlotte's still good. Um, I don't know what she's weak to. I think she's weak to uh, striking units. Uh, I could be wrong. Uh, I know she's supposed to be a magic tank, so Lucia might have a problem dealing damage to her. Uh, let's see how much damage Kane's going to do. Uh, this team is pretty fast also, so... Um, that's gonna be issue uh, if everyone laps laps us all the time. <laughs> all right, so let's see what Lucia does to um, Charlotte. All right, so because Charlotte has so much defense, Lucia is gonna do her limit break, um, which is fine because then we get the arcane shot. We're gonna get a chain off of here, and mm, she survived by uh, just a little bit. Unfortunately, Kane never got his courage up, so he's dead. Alright, so at least Charlotte's dead. Uh, but now it's two versus two. Uh, sorry, scratch that. It's one versus two. <laughs> Can Lucia finish this off? I don't know. Alright, we get a Toad's Curse. Um, and we kill Ibarra as a Toad. Uh, let's see. Let's see how much this does. Okay. Oh, but we got the follow-up attack. Uh, that kind of sucks. <laughs> oh, man. Uh... If Lightning didn't have the follow-up attack, I probably would have won that one. But those follow-up attacks are really, really good. Um, that's why I'm happy about Lucia, because, again, she's my first unit with these, with this kind of ability. And I'm enjoying it. <laughs> it makes me wish I did get Noctis, Astrid, or Lightning. But you know what? I'm fine with just having her uh, with it. I'm surprised no one's like done a team with... Units that just do follow up attacks. Uh, I don't know it would be that technically a rainbow team. Um, I guess when elements have two of them on, on on their element, then we'll see more of that. But for now, it's just been those four elements that have it. But whatever. Tonight was good. <laughs> Started off strong and then off kind of eh, but the team's pretty much working fine. Um, I'm still worried about light evasion because that I do I do have some problems with that, and I may switch out Titus for Little Lita because little, the SR Little Lita just to stick with the whole using one MR lower rare unit. And the reason why I want to use Little Lita is because she has a guarantee hit that can um, silence um, enemies and. Uh, that would really damper like Elna's and stuff like that. But so far, this has been fine. I have to do some testing with Lil Lila if I want to go that route. Anyway, uh, once again, I hope all you guys had a great Thanksgiving. Enjoy your weekend. I'll see you guys tomorrow for day three. Catch you, catch you guys later. Bye.